Hello everyone, welcome to my weekly Facebook Live. I'm Ruth Norton with Ruth Stamping Corner. I have a lot to share today, but we are going to make this adorable little treat box. We're going to use the Hot Air Balloon Bundle. This bundle's in the mini catalog. It is carrying over to our annual catalog in May, but the bundle price will not. So if you want that bundle price, make sure that you get this before May. Um, and we're going to talk more about this uh, bundle in just a minute, but... I love this sweet little box. It's a it's a cute little box. I'll show you what's inside in just a minute. Um, super simple to make. Great for a group. You can change up the greeting. This would be great for a little party favor. So really cute little box we're going to make today. And look how, look how adorable that little balloon is. So cute. So before we get into that, though, I have a whole stack of stuff that we need to talk about real quick. So um, Paper Pumpkin, the subscription period for April is open. It's been open for a while. We're actually... Um, getting close to cutting off the subscription period for April. That happens on April 10th. So you have just a couple of weeks left to, to subscribe to April's Paper Pumpkin. It is going to be the Delicate Wings, and it's going to have, um, I think it said something about like pop-up. Oh yeah, partial pop-ups to make your card shine. I think that's so cute. Um, you're going to get a basic gray stampin' spot, nine cards three each of three designs and i just love this little sneak peek so i cannot wait for april's kit um and then coming up we have some some really good ones in may and june and june is actually going to be the new end colors now this is black and white but we already know what the the new end colors are so that kit is going to be amazing there is an add-on that will coordinate with the april through june kits so you can get this in my online store i think it's twelve dollars i need to write the item number and the price on here but um look at how cute those dies are so um, shapes, this thanks die, and then the little butterfly die. So $12 in my online store, you can purchase that. Um, and then that will coordinate with all three months of your paper pumpkins. So paper pumpkins, a great deal. It comes right to your door. You don't need any additional tools. It's an all-inclusive kit. You will love it. It makes a great gift too. It makes a great gift for kids as well for those summer months. So this is a good time to, to start getting them, um, involved in like some summer activities and stuff. So all right, last chance list for our annual catalog and our mini catalog. Things have already started to sell out. I checked this morning, and there's a handful of things that are already gone. Um, the Parakeet Party ink refill is gone. There's some embossing folders gone. The Thick Very Vanilla cardstock is gone. And there's a, a couple other things that are gone, too. I don't remember off the top of my head. So if you are waiting to shop these products, um, please don't wait. You're going to miss out. I... Um, Things sell out very quickly. Um, there are some discounted products on here. Those do not go into effect until April 9th. So if you want to wait until the, the discounted items start, you can, but you do risk the, um, the chance of the things you love selling out completely. So um, take a look at the, the list. I do have a link on my blog that has the, the downloadable PDFs that you can, can check. If you have a question on, on something that's retiring, please let me know. Um, but again, there's lots, lots, lots leaving from the, our annual catalog. And there is um, some stuff leaving from the mini catalog. Lots of stuff from the mini catalog actually carried over. Um, I do want to point this out, though. We're gonna, I'm going to um, talk about this today. This is our blocks page. So all those acrylic blocks that we, that we use to stamp on. This is those page that this page, and they are actually retiring a few of them. So they are getting rid of, um, they're getting rid of some that I use all the time. So this one, the little teeny tiny one, I use this one a lot. Um, they're getting rid of this one, which we're gonna use today. I think it's this one. Yeah, this is G. So this is the the small skinny one. We're using this one today as well. And then they're getting rid of I don't have that um close to me, but the block I. So it is this the really long rectangle one. Now honestly, this one I don't use as much. But these two, I do use all the time. So if you want to stock up on some blocks, make sure you grab these before they're gone. Um, I will continue to use them after they retire because they, they're good blocks and they, um, you know, they fit a lot of things. So I'll, you'll still continue to see them even after they retire, um, so, which is why I want you guys to, to be aware that they are retiring. So don't miss out on them. Okay. The hot air balloon bundle is what we are using today, but it is also what I'm featuring in my April card crate that I put on my blog yesterday, and I'll make sure to do a post about that. Um, card crate is a class to go. It's $40 shipped. You get $20 in product. There are four amazing projects in this month's card crate or in April's card crate, and um, 
they're all like fun fold or they have movement in some way so really really beautiful cards um get the how fun this one is i just love this one Ooh. slides up isn't that fun and then this one the little balloon can slide back and forth so um i'm going to show you details how to make all of these you're going to get a pdf and video instructions um the pdf will have lots of pictures as well um if you want, need to add on the bundle you can um all the details are in the in the video link description in the in the video description there's a, a link to all the details on card crate the last day to sign up for card crate will be april 12th so if you um want card crate um you get 20 dollars in product one of the things that you're getting is going to be the um, pearlized enamel effects that i have right here i can reach them here we go um these are these are fantastic and i think i've included these in a card crate a couple of years ago when these first came out i absolutely love these and we're going to be using these again i'm going to show you some fun ways to use them so um that's one of the things you're going to get in your um in your twenty dollars of product so the cards are ador adorable they're so cute you can add on the bundle if you need to again check the video description for all the details and we're going to use the the whole bundle today so i'm going to leave this out all right these are our new in colors that are coming in the um catalog in may these will be around for two years and um i am contemplating doing a in color club i've had a couple of people ask about it i do need a minimum amount of people to do it of course but um if you are interested in hearing more details about an in color club what that would entail the cost etc please leave me a comment or send me a message um i'm just trying to gauge how much interest there is in doing an in color club but these colors are beautiful so i would love to do one this year so um let me know about that if i do do one it will be details will be out very soon on that and I'll be doing a paper share as well, so details will be out very soon on that as well. All right, my April in-person class, you guys, I normally don't show my my cards for my um, in-person classes ahead of time, but I'm going to give you guys a quick little sneak peek of these. I do still have a couple of spots available, so if you are local in the Albuquerque area, I would love to, to welcome you to an in-person class. Um, real quick, cute little cards that you're going to make at my in-person class in April. If you want more details on that, please let me know. Um but the cards are absolutely adorable I can't, I can't get them in my box um okay the cards are fantastic so um if you're local in the albuquerque area the class is april saturday april 13th and um i'd love to to welcome you in all right this is what we're making today this cute little box if you are um shopping please head to my online store there's a link in the video description for my online store there's also the host code for uh, march in my online store um monday is april 1st i'll have a brand new host code on monday and all the details on what's going on in april will also be on my blog on monday so make sure to check that out on monday um, but if you're shopping between now and monday um, please use the march host code and again that's in the video description um okay we're using the hot air balloon bundle oh, one more thing if you are watching this on facebook please share this with your friends it helps me reach new people if you're on youtube please like and subscribe to my channel that really helps me out it helps my business grow and you never miss a video it's free for you all right we're using the hot air balloon bundle like i said this is a fantastic bundle i think this bundle was made for new mexico too um we have the hot air balloon or the balloon fiesta in october where we have hundreds of balloons fill the sky so this is totally a new mexico set so this is what we are making and inside the little box there is um, one of these little 100 calorie packs from emerald um these little nuts now they have a pretty big variety of different um flavors of these this is my favorite though i love the the cranberry ones but they have um quite a big variety of these um i got these in my local walmart there's 10 packs packs in here and I think it was like $5, five-ish. So this is a really affordable little gift if you're making a bunch of these. And again, there's lots of different um, varieties too. So if you wanted to do a different variety, you absolutely could. All right, so we're going to pull one of these out for our box. We'll set that aside for now. But let's do... Um, <laughs> it doesn't want to... It keeps wanting to fall. Okay, let's do our scoring. So let's start with our Shaded Spruce cardstock. I'm going to pull out my Simply Scored. All the measurements will be uh, on my blog, and they are all in the video description as well, so you don't have to worry about writing any of this down. My cardstock is 5.5 by 8.5, so it is just half of sheet of 8.5 by 11 cardstock. So what you would use for a card base. So you're going to get two of these per 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. So on the, let's start on the 5.5 inch side. On the 5.5 inch side, we're going to score it at half an inch. 
at one and a quarter and at four and three fourths. Okay, turn it to the eight and a half inch side and we're gonna score it at half an inch. One and a quarter, four and a half, and five and a fourth. All right, so that's it. No fancy trimming on here, just straight lines. No fancy measurements, just easy scoring. All right, grab your bone folder and give everything a really good burnish. This really helps your box go together um, so much better. Don't skip this step if you're if you are a box maker because this makes your boxes have crisp edges and um, it really gives them a much more professional look to the box. And um, anyway, you're, you'll see a difference. Is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay, so while it's in this um, landscape position, <laughs> there are two score lines up here. And there's one score line down here. This is going to be the um, the lid. So this is gonna be the flap that folds over like this. Um, this is the bottom of our box. So let's start by trimming up the bottom. So I'm gonna trim up on the score line here. I'm gonna go straight up on the rectangle and then I'm gonna notch in on the squares. If you've seen any of my videos, you'll know that this is pretty standard for, um, for my box making. And um, the notching in just kind of cuts out the bulk so your box goes together a little bit easier. Now over here, when we get to this little half inch tab over here, I'm just gonna cut that off and I'm gonna cut it off at an angle with this little half inch tab. This piece is gonna be our glue tab. And so we're just gonna kind of cut off the bulk there. So that's the bottom. Okay, so we're gonna cut this piece at an angle too on this half inch side. And then we're just gonna take out these. Let's take those out completely. Okay, so now we're gonna work on the top. So I'm gonna cut down the, the rectangles and I'm gonna cut off this um, half inch tab here and then we're gonna notch in on the, on the little side tabs here. These tabs are gonna go in, they're gonna fold inside our box. So you will see these, but um, nobody's gonna kind of be measuring and how much you've taken out and stuff. So don't worry about that. All right, now, we're gonna cut off these two big rectangle pieces here. If you have bigger scissors, you can use those. You can use a paper trimmer if you wanna make sure that it is super straight, but I'm just gonna use my paper snips here. And we're gonna cut this at an angle, just notch that in. We'll cut this piece off. And then this one will be cut at an angle as well. I didn't make that very straight. Let's see if I can straighten that out. There we go. All right, so this is, let me get all this trash out of the way. This is what your your box should look like, trimmed up. Now, I forgot to bring my, my corner rounder over, so we're not gonna do this step. Um, and then I have a half inch circle punch here, so um, if you have a little punch for just a finger notch, this is just to, to open your box a little easier. So you would punch that here, and then do your corner rounding on this tab here. I'm not gonna worry about that too much right now. The box is still gonna go together just fine, and I forgot to grab my punches from from across the room, so I'm not gonna worry about that right now. So let's go ahead and get this put together. Actually, let's do our DSP on the front first before we put it together. It's, it's easier to get this all together. So let's put that off to the side. All right, my DSP is from the Brights collection. Now this package of Brights will be retiring. You can see mine is all like hacked up, but you get all of the, the Brights colors. They come in the same patterns. You just get um, them all in, you know, all the Brights colors. They have this in the, in every color group. They are bringing in new patterns for the DSPs in the new catalog. So these current patterns will be retiring. So I have a three by three piece of DSP because I wanted to maximize my six by six DSP. So I cut them to three by three. Now this is gonna be a little bit short. So we're gonna just do some trimming. So I'm actually gonna trim off um, one inch here. So I'm gonna end up with a piece that is one by three and a piece that is um, two by three. So, but we're gonna be able to kind of piece this together and just kind of maximize the um, the use of our DSP. So I hope that makes sense. So you'll be able to cut all these with that. So I'm just gonna grab some stamp and seal for this. And we're gonna put this together. So the bigger piece is gonna go up at the top, the two by three piece. Just leave an even border around with those score lines. And then the one by three piece is gonna go on the bottom and there's gonna be a little gap in between. 
but that is going to be covered up by our little flirty, flirty flamingo piece, so don't worry about that. But this way you can maximize the, the use of your of your cardstock, and this flirty flamingo piece is going to go there, and nobody is going to know that you kind of hacked apart that, that DSP to, to maximize your um, use of that. All right, so let's do some stamping before we put our box together. So we'll need to stamp on our flirty fl flamingo piece. Let's bring in what we're aiming to do. And then I have a scrap piece of white. Okay, so let's start with, we'll start with our shaded spruce so we can do our greeting as well. So shaded spruce ink, I'm gonna move this out of the way. Shaded spruce ink, we're gonna do our greeting. And I'm using the hang in there greeting, but again, if you're making these for party showers or something, um, go through your stamps, find a, find a different greeting. Okay, I'm gonna pull it down just a little bit so I can, so I can figure this out, get it nice and straight. Okay, perfect. Ooh, that did come out good. It's fun when you surprise yourself, right? <laughs> All right, so um, shaded spruce on flirty flamingo. And then on our scrap piece of white, we're gonna do this um, bigger balloon piece here. This is the piece that, um, gosh, I don't know balloon terminology, but you can see the, the difference in these two pieces. Um, this one has like the little bottom part right there and it's skinnier. So we're gonna use the, the more rounded one. And we're gonna stamp that. Again, shaded spruce for this one. Isn't this a good color combination too? Shaded spruce. Coastal Cabana and Flirty Flamingo. It's so pretty. All right, that's it for the Shaded Spruce. Flirty Flamingo. I'm gonna pull this in. And this is just gonna kind of fill in those little gaps there and fill, finish up our balloon. Okay, let's see if I can do this one as well as I did the greeting. Hmm. If you have a stamp positioner, go ahead and pull that out if you are not confident in getting this lined up. Ooh, but I did pretty good with that one too. We are doing, having a good stamping day. <laughs> All right, let me put that off to the side. So we have all of our stamping done. Let's do some die cutting. Normally I do this stuff in advance, um, but I didn't do that today. So we're gonna die cut today. So line up your little die. I'm gonna use some washi tape to hold it in place. I'm gonna line that up. And we're also gonna die cut a couple of clouds from the same die set. And then I have a little tiny piece of pecan pie here, and we're gonna die cut the little basket for the balloon, okay? So let me pull out my my machine. Okay, I have my big one here, so it's gonna like take up the whole camera, but here we go. I'm trying to move stuff on my desk so it fits. If you guys could see my desk right now. All right. Um, we do have some price hikes coming up in the new catalog, and one of them are the cut, the plates for your cut and emboss machine. So now's a good time to stock up on those. I need to, um, put in an order for some of them too, just to stock up on them. Um, you definitely don't ever want to be stranded without your cut and emboss machine plates. That is, that is no good. Um, and if you can save a little bit of money ordering them now, do that. All right. So this one goes on top and we're going to cut it. So my platform is that base plate, which is one, the plate number two, which is your, um, your kind of your die adapter piece. And then two of the, the number three plates. So let me move this out of the way. We'll get all of our pieces from our balloons. A little basket, balloon, and our cloud. Okay, so let me move aside the dies. I don't want to lose these dies. For sure, I do not want to lose them. So I'm going to put them off to the side right there so I don't lose them. Okay, so we have all of our pieces here. We're ready to go. I'm going to put the balloons to the side. So let's stick this on. Where did my adhesive go? My gosh, if it wasn't attached to me, I'm gonna lose it. Okay, adhesive on the back of that. We'll bring back our box. And this will just go right over that little gap so nobody will ever know. And we were able to maximize our, our DSP for this box. Okay, we're gonna switch to some different adhesives. I gotta grab my um, dimensionals. All right, I'm switching to Stampin' Seal Plus to adhere my box together. Now you guys, I'm gonna be honest with you, the Stampin' Seal Plus, this refill that I put in. I don't know. It's given me problems. I had problems with it yesterday. So we're having a love hate relationship with this guy right now. So we'll see how he does, but we're going to put on adhesive on this flap. This is going to be the um, bottom front. So it's going to be this flap that folds to the front. So we're going to put adhesive on that one. We're going to put adhesive, a little bit of adhesive on the, um, the two little square tabs on the bottom that we trimmed. Okay. And then 
we're going to put adhesive on this half inch tab. So these I put on the inside of the box. This half inch tab we're going to put on adhesive on the outside of the box. So just be careful, try not to glue anything down. I need to fold all that over. It doesn't want to stick in the right place, but okay, that's okay. We'll we'll make it work. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to glue this tab to this side and just make sure that your score lines are all lined up. So I'm just going to make sure everything is nice and lined up. Tuck that over. Give that a little press. Okay, now we're going to start with the back. We're going to fold in the back piece. And then we're going to fold in the tabs. And by putting the tabs in the middle here, you're going to have a nice clean finish to the inside. Nobody's ever going to see them. So those tabs go in the middle. And then the back or the front folds over just like that. So grab your bone folder. Give everything a good little burnish. Make sure that everything is nice and, and adhered. And there's your little box ready to go. So we'll put in our little, our little emerald net pack there. And then this piece just folds over. And again, if you've um, rounded your corners, like I, I will probably go back and do after this is done, it'll go right in just like that. Isn't that cute? Cute little box, right? It's super easy, super quick. All right. Oh, I thought I lost my basket. <laughs> All right, let's, let's get some adhesive on the back of this. I'm going to use my, um, my little mini black dimensionals because that's what I have on my desk right now. But they'll work just fine. So the little mini one fits perfectly on the back of that little basket. And then I'm just going to put a few on here on this one. We're not even going to try to adhere the basket to the balloon. We're just going to put a dimensional on it and make it look like it's all adhered together. So let's put our balloon on. So we're going to put that up on the right side, right next to our greeting. And then we'll just tuck our little basket just right under. Just like that. Maybe make it so it's not like crooked so that people are not falling out. There we go. Isn't that cute? All right, so we have our two little clouds here. I'm gonna grab my my liquid glue for these. So for the smaller one, we're going to put a little bit on the, what will be the left side. And that's just gonna kind of go right over the balloon. And then on the, the big cloud, we'll put adhesive on the whole thing and we'll just kind of tuck that behind, just like that. All right, now we have one more thing to add to this. These are retiring, and that, it's so sad that these are going. These are our iridescent rhinestones. They are retiring. These are one of my absolute favorite embellishments. I love them. The shine is amazing, and I'm so sad to see them going. So I'm going to use my Take Your Pick tool. We're just going to add three of them on here. Two on the bottom and one on the top, just to add a little bit of sparkle. But make sure that you head to my online store and grab those iridescent rhinestones because they are retiring. So make sure that you you grab them while you can. All right, guys, that is it for me today. This is our cute little box. I hope you guys like this. Let me pull out our little our little nut packs. So you can see what's in there. Again, these are very yummy and they're very they're healthy. So um, if you have friends that don't want to receive candy, this is a good ulterior option for them. Um, this would be great for a little teacher gift. Put this on your coworkers' desks. Um, can't have the people falling out. I know, Erin, it's a problem. So make sure your baskets are nice and straight so the people don't fall out. Um, all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Um, again, if you're watching this on Facebook, please share this with your friends. If you're on YouTube, please like and subscribe to my channel. If you are shopping products, please look in the video description for my um, shopping link as well as um, the host code for this month. I'll have a brand new host code on Monday for April 1st. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Happy Easter. And um, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.